Uh, this is our uh, research project. Our null hypothesis is that both males and females have the same empathy towards when someone asks to borrow money. But our alternative hypothesis is that females will be more empathetic when males ask for money, or females will be more empathetic when males when females ask for money. And we also got that males will be more empathetic when males ask for money, or either males will be more empathetic when females ask for the money. So for the materials and methods section, which you can see on our website, we have developed a seven step procedure in order to collect the data on all of the participants properly, as well as materials such as gloves in order to ensure safety, as well as note taking materials in order to ensure that the data is collected properly. Excuse me, can I borrow some money? Any amount will help. Sorry, I don't have any amount. Excuse me, can I borrow some money? Any amount will help. All right. Thank you. Yeah, that's helpful. Thank you. The success rate is 50% with a mean of 0.7 and a standard deviation of 0.9. Four, nine, and a standard error of 0 0.31. For males in general, the mean is 0.15, standard deviation is 0.366, and the standard error is 0.156. For females in general, the mean is 0.5, standard deviation is 0.812, and the standard error is 0.219. The total data mean is 0.4 with a standard deviation of 0.672. How my article relates to the research question is that in the article they say that there is gender bias when hiring people into their company and they say that males are more likely to be hired. This relates to our research question because it talks about how genders affect other people's decisions. The research article that I have chosen is about how gender relates to grades in math related classes. The results show that on average, males score higher in these classes, as well as more males take these classes. This relates to our study because our study is about how gender relates to behavior. An experiment conducted by researchers at the University of Oregon did an experiment on a variety of different social dilemmas. One of these dilemmas was observing whether men would hold the door more often for a woman than they would for a man. And they also observed a woman and seeing that they would hold the door more often for a man than they would for a woman. They ultimately found women would cooperate more than men would. They also concluded that experimental setting was more important than sex differences themselves. This was similar to our experiment because in our experiment, we said that a woman were more likely to receive money from a stranger than men were, whether that be from another woman or from another man. We also found that men were high in cooperation, unlike their study, which found that men were very low in cooperation compared to women. In conclusion, our research was conducted to find out whether gender has an effect on people's behavior. Our experiment consisted of going up to random strangers and asking them for money. Their response to this question was recorded with different genders asking the same question. Our null hypothesis was that both men and women would receive the same empathy relative to monetary factors while interacting with both genders. Our data showed high cooperation among men relative to women. More specifically, women received from other women and other men the highest. Second highest was men receiving from other men 
and the third highest was men receiving from women. However, our main find was that female confederates received more empathy than male confederates did. This proves that there was a gender bias in our experiment.